So position one is with this lapis lazuli crystal. Position two is this quartz crystal cluster. And position three is the amethyst cluster. So take a moment to focus on these three cards, these three crystals, and choose the card or the crystal that you think feels you feel most drawn to. If you'd like to take extra time over this, I really encourage you to pause the video, take a few deep breaths, focus, and then choose before moving on. So now then, I will start to do the reveal. So I'm gonna start from the lapis. If this is not your chosen card, you can use the timestamps below to navigate to the quartz or the amethyst. So first, the reading for those who chose lapis is the Page of Pentacles. Now interestingly, the Page of Pentacles is somebody who is an avid learner, somebody who typically likes to know the nuts and bolts of how things work. Always curious, this person likes to dive into digging that little bit deeper, to understanding and to having a firm grasp of the situation. So for you, the energy and the message here is that it's okay to do that, but also to be aware that sometimes things aren't as easily explained. And sometimes there may be a call for you to dig a little bit more into your heart for an answer or a little bit more into your intuition for an answer than only what is factually and evident before you. So notice where maybe perhaps in your relationships you might be missing part of the message because of an over-focus on the detail or an over-focus on the tangible and see if you can ground that or balance that with more from your heart, more from your gut instinct or your intuition or your higher self and bring all of that into a bit of harmony. Notice where you might be leaning a little too focused on the small bits and missing the broader or bigger picture. Perhaps you could zoom out your perspective a bit and take in a little more versus being very zoomed in and focused only on the minutia or the detail of the situation. If this card is relating to somebody else in your life, then perhaps notice what is really making those around you happy and notice how you communicate with those people. So a lot of times what happens is if, if we're more, say, for example, very fiery and action oriented, we can find ourselves getting impatient with people like the Pentacles, uh, the Page of Pentacles, somebody who tends to want to spend more time diving deeper in each topic than just moving on. So notice if you feel any of that impatience coming up with people in your life and can you balance that out? That's just one example. Perhaps it's something different and you're feeling that somebody is slowing you down somewhat and that's where the patience is coming from or the lack of patience is coming from. See if you can embody more of this patience and slow movingness and let the journey be as exciting as the destination, if not more so. So definitely pull those energies in for you. Hopefully that makes sense. Remember, as always with any of my readings, if something's not clear or you want me to expand on something I've said, just let me know in the comments down below and I am happy to provide a little further clarity on what I felt and saw when I was working with this particular card. So I'm gonna flip this one over and we're gonna move next over to the quartz crystal. If you chose the quartz crystal, this message will be for you. We have here the six of wands. The six of wands is a card of like feeling really good. Things have maybe come into a bit of fruition. You're starting to feel reward from effort or you're starting to feel external recognition or validation for your experience or for your accomplishments. There's a feeling here of riding a bit of a high and that can come with both some good stuff and some complicated stuff. So the good stuff, of course, it always feels good to be in a position where we feel like we're able to enjoy and celebrate our successes. The bad thing can be that sometimes, or I guess the shadow side can be that sometimes when we're in this place, we can forget to remember how we got there. There can be a bit of a disconnect from gratitude or from the people that supported us on the way to this place. So this might be a time to lean into remembering how this happened, perhaps who helped you along the way, uh, perhaps what circumstances helped you to arrive at this place, and to keep that sense of personal humility and accountability to the people in your life and to the experiences in your life that have brought you to this place. So there's a bit of an opportunity here to look back on your experience, to reflect and to appreciate. Definitely, I feel like that would be useful, useful energy for you as you move forward. And also just be aware that 
being in this moment is wonderful and you should enjoy it to the fullest. But also if you linger here too long, it can feel like a bit of a crash when you come back to sort of the reality of your day to day. Let yourself enjoy where those successes are, but try to stay grounded as much as you can. Get your feet on the earth and remember, like remember what the day to day looks like, even if that feels far away. This can be a bit of like sort of that weekend mode or vacation mode where we kind of yeah, blow off our responsibilities a little bit. And that's totally fine in moderation. Just make sure that you're grounding it also in some balance and maybe getting some of that less exciting stuff taken care of also so that it's not too much of a dramatic shift when this time naturally has to come to an end. So I'll flip that over and we'll move on finally to Amethyst. So those of you who chose Amethyst, this message is for you, the sun. What a positive card. That said, oh, sorry about my camera. That said, the sun energy can also sometimes be pretty overwhelming or even um, obscuring in the right circumstances. So the sun is usually the time when things become really clear and we feel like we can kind of see our way forward. It may feel really good and really fresh, especially if we've had some obscurity lately or we've had some things where that haven't really been going our way and then all of a sudden we're like, oh, the light, it's amazing. But the downside is that if you've been spending a lot of time in shadow or you've been having some difficult days or weeks and then suddenly things feel really good, it can take some time to adjust to this new, lighter, clearer reality, which means that you may still not quite be at the place where you're seeing things as clearly as you will once your emotional, intuitive eyes have some time to adjust. So just remember that it might seem really overwhelming at first. It might even feel like you're almost feeling this external pressure to immediately seem perfect. And there's always a transition process from one stage to the other. So if, let's say you've been dealing with a difficult time and you're starting to finally feel sort of that feeling of happiness or joy or light again in your life, there may feel like this bit of external or internal pressure that you must now be okay always. And it's not really how it is. You might have a day where you're feeling great and then you might have another day where you're kind of back where you were and that's okay. Let those things happen and know that over time you will have more good days than difficult days. And that's kind of what I feel like the sun often has to offer us. It's bright and it's clarifying, but there's also a transition process that we sometimes forget happens where we have the light and then all of a sudden there's this, um, adjustment period. I keep saying the same thing, but that's what's kind of standing out is remember there's an adjustment period and it could be, there's an adjustment to things that are difficult, but there's also an adjustment to things that are good. And it's okay for that to take a little bit of time. Try not to pressure yourself. So with that being said, that was our choose a card reading. I might do these occasionally on my channel. And again, they're not meant for a specific timeline. And as with anything like this, always take what resonates for you and don't worry about everything else. If it doesn't feel true for you, if it doesn't feel something like something that connects to your intuition or that feels correct for you right now, then I would definitely recommend that you revisit this a few times and just kind of see if it seems different the next time you watch it. So thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be, and I will talk to you all again later. Bye-bye.